Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we have new version of Google Chrome. Chrome 118 is now released to everybody on the Stable Channel. So if you're on Mac, Linux, or on Windows, uh, go to Google Chrome. Go into the upper right vertical dots and help and about Google Chrome. Make sure that you update. It will be at 118.0.5993. Dot 70 on Mac and Linux and dot 70 or 71 on Windows. Now, there's one thing as a feature that they're enhancing in this uh, new version is the passkey features. Google, like uh, many other um, companies, even Microsoft is trying that, is trying to get away from passwords. Uh, is trying to make sure that, you know, passwords are something from the past. You don't need that anymore. Because passwords are the big problem in security in general. So if you can move on to, you know, from passwords, uh, they will enhance the security of your system and your, your different accounts and so on. So passkey is the feature that they're even more pushing here. So if you're using a Gmail account, if you're using different accounts, it might pop up. Do you want to use a passkey? So the passkey feature works in different ways. In my case, what it does it uh, asks me for my pin on Windows. So it's going to say, okay, on Windows, you got a pin uh, to access the account, you to access your Windows um, operating system. Uh, enter your pin to make sure that it's you. So instead of using an online password thing, it's using your local password or pin that your system has. Uh, there are a couple of other ways. Uh, if you don't use a pin, for example, one was it pops up a it pops up a QR code and it asks you to um, look at the QR code with, with the camera of your phone that you actually have linked to your accounts. So not everybody can do it. Only the phone that you have linked, which is technically yours, can actually uh, unlock the account. So there's different ways like that and it's really in the spirit of removing passwords um, as soon as possible and try to make things even more secure for the future. But what I think is going to be the major thing in Google Chrome 118 is its enormous amount of security fixes and including one that is a critical security flaw. Um, it is a publicly disclosed vulnerability which means it's a zero day and it's known and it's probably exploited in the wild and it has to do with uh, the website isolation feature of the browser. So that's one critical flaw that really needs to be fixed and for the rest, a lot of other security flaws uh, that are fixed in here uh, for the browser itself. So you know what, um, I think what is mainly the, uh, the idea behind Chrome 118 is that it is a massive security update more than anything else uh, right now. So uh, not, you know, there's a few little sliders, a few little things in the menus that have changed, but nothing front facing for most people. And what probably will be more front facing for a lot of people is the fact that you might actually encounter um, Google Chrome asking you to, you know, use the passkey features. Uh, for the rest, security update and, and a lot, and especially that zero day, extremely important if you want to stay safe to make sure that you update your Google Chrome browser. Once again, upper right corner, three vertical dots, help and about Google Chrome. 118.0.5993.70 on Linux and Mac, dot 70 or 71 in Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.